Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video I'm going to be treating some symptoms of a condition that I've been struggling with for a while now, trying to even identify. Not even sure what to call this, but let's get this foot trimmed up a little bit and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if you noticed as I was trimming, there was a black spot at the tip of that inside claw. And this is what it looks like up close once I've got it all trimmed away. You can see it almost looks like the beginning of toe necrosis. But as we work on this, you're going to see why or how this is differentiated from toe tip necrosis. But it, it looks completely different and it's, and it's creating a split that seems odd to me. So once we get this uh, cleaned away a little bit, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you more what I'm talking about. So if you notice as I'm working, with toe tip necrosis, we tend to have a hole that's in the tip of the toe that works inward, straight in, and almost um, goes a direct path inward directly to the corium. That's not how these cracks are working. What it, what it appears to me anyway is that this crack is actually working much like a vertical fissure would. A vertical fissure would normally come from the top down. This one's coming from the toe and working up in between the layers of that outside wall. It, it's not at the corium level and it's not at, in the very outside layer of that hoof wall. It's like it's in that inside middle layer. So I'm having a hard time trying to figure out what type of force would cause that type of split in that middle. Now here you can see here's another one. This is a, a similar situation as the last one. Uh, you can see it's a vertical line, straight line, and not you know, it doesn't go in toward the tip of the toe. It's working along the plane of that, of that outside wall itself. Now, as we look at this next case, you're going to see we got a little split here. And, and well, this is the, very similar to the last one. This next one here now, you can see where that outside wall is intact. And it's like a, an erosion is happening underneath that outside wall, but not you know, all the way inside where the where the laminar corium is, it's happening inside the wall. And what we have on this farm is a lot of uh, corkscrew claws in these heifers, so reverse corkscrew or cork, corkscrew claw syndrome, and I think a lot of those same pressures are causing this, but I'm not totally sure what would cause that split on that inside uh, layer. So these are kind of tricky. Now the the weird part about them too is is they don't cause any toe necrosis. They don't have any abscesses that ever uh, result uh, because of them. They don't, the animals don't show any lameness from these cracks. So they're kind of superficial, but the problem is, is it, I know that they're not normal and I know that there's pressures that are happening here that are not good for the cow's feet. So I'd like to be able to figure it out, but I just don't, I can't do it. So if there's any professional trimmers out there that have dealt with corkscrew claw syndrome who have seen this particular thing and have an idea of what's going on, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. So here we'll get a look at her as she's walking out and you can see she walks perfectly fine and just got to figure out what the deal is with these. So, 
All right, guys, another quick video this time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all on the next one.